Just want to give a quick thank you to everybody that liked my biggest investment fail intro, the IRL thing. I didn't think many people would like an IRL like skit thing, but a lot of people seem to enjoy it. It's like some of the best ratings I've ever gotten. So thank you everybody that liked that video and checked it out. I'll link it below if you haven't seen it yet, but uh, I do appreciate the support on that. That was really cool to see. You know what ticks me off when I have no luck? I feel like I never have any luck on this game, okay? I have been watching YouTubers and streamers all get Xenite shards, all get heavy frames, all get these expensive items from Gorillas, and what do I get? I get nothing, all right? Like, it legit makes me so mad. I don't understand why I can't just have any luck on this game. Honey? Yeah, mom. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just trying to sound tough for my internet friends. Is it working? Yeah, I think it's working. <laughs> a couple of videos ago, I made a loot from 100 Demonic Gorillas, and I promised you guys that when I got a Demonic Gorillas task, or in this case, a Black Demon's task, I would go ahead and go back and record all the loot and see what I got. You can obviously use the Slayer Helm when doing a Black Demon task here, and it means you do more damage to them, which is really convenient because you kill them a lot faster. It's also better because they added a new single way area, so single combat area, so it's a lot faster to kill them, and you don't have like three or four on you at a time, which means that you have to leave like faster. Usually, you can always do 15 or more kills a trip now. It took me, I think, like four hours total to kill 223 or so it might be a little bit more four to five sounds about right and uh, yeah i'm gonna show you guys what i got a couple things first though i actually bought primordial boots for this task because i wanted to try them out people were recommending it and i feel like they make a huge difference not only on this task but in slayer in general i feel like i don't get hit as often with them they're, they seem incredible i guess they're worth like the 27 mil that they are so i'm using them over an sgs at the moment and i can't do both because i can't afford both and to do these like efficiently they're not, they're not really an afk task you really have to be paying attention constantly especially to your prayer you can't just look away from the screen i, I definitely died a couple times just looking away and wasn't paying attention when it was attacking me because they can hit pretty hard and especially those falling rocks combo with if you're praying the wrong thing can be a pretty deadly combo so they're like a fun task i don't mind doing them but you obviously have to be in the mood to do them, just like, I guess, any player boss task. Now, I mentioned last video that I think their drop table should be buffed massively, but I'm sort of taking back my, I guess, suggestion because I think their drop table is worth it. Maybe a couple things could be improved, but overall, I think that it's actually pretty well balanced. The fact that the monster has five rare drops is pretty high, I guess, in general, for the ballista items, even though only two or three of them are actually worth something. But at the end of the day, I feel like that's worth it. Now, here are the regular drops from 223 Demonic Gorillas. Now, you're seeing 10 mil here, which obviously looks incredible. That means that each Demonic Gorilla kill is averaging like 45,000 GP per kill, which is really good. However, a lot of the prices are still a bit skewed. So you guys can see the Dragon Arrowheads are still priced at 13.8k, which means those drops are worth about 5.3 mil. And then the Rune Arrowheads are a bit more expensive. Their price is a bit more accurate, but still not totally accurate. So I had to go ahead and check the RS buddy price to see what they're selling for. And then I took out the amount of Dragon Arrowheads that would make sense. I guess that's more accurate. So I took out 350 of the Dragon Arrowheads and 130 of the Rune Arrowheads. And really only 450k's worth of Dragon Arrowheads and 400k's worth of Rune Arrows heads. So obviously it drops the total guide price down by half pretty much. So it's actually about 5.1 mil for all of those kills, which is still averaging about 23, 24,000 GP per demonic gorilla kill, which is actually a bit more than a wyvern skill, but obviously they take a lot more effort to kill and a lot more supplies, I guess. Now that is not including the three rare drops I got. The three rare drops I got in this case were uh, another pair of the light frames, uh, runite limbs, and then the ballista spring. So I have gotten every drop, but the Zenite shard and the heavy frame, which are the expensive ones, which just, Really, oh man, I, I don't understand. I have no luck in this game. I've killed like 9,000 wyverns, no draconic visage. I just, I mean, I got a cracking pet. Wow, woo. I got the I got the most common pet, you know, whoop de doo Then again, I don't do that much bossing, so I shouldn't expect a pet, but in the future, in the future. So obviously the guide price is still wrong. If this was 13.8, imagine, imagine these were actually worth 13.8 mil and imagine that the dragon arrowheads or the dragon, yeah, the dragon arrowhead or dragon javelin tips Dragon Javelin heads, there we go, were actually worth uh, what they were. That means I would have made like 28 mil off this task, or not 28 mil, 23 mil, almost 24 mil off this task, which would have been incredible. But at the end of the day, these are only going to sell for like 200k or so around that. Maybe they'll go up in a bit, but I'm actually keeping these in a tab because I don't want to sell this tab yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do these until I get a Xenite shard or until I get a heavy frame, but I'm only going to do them when I get them in a Slayer task because I feel like that's really when it's worth it for me. They, they could be decent money. They actually are decent money off Slayer Task, but for me, I personally want to do them on Slayer Task. So I'm getting that Slayer XP, and then I'm also, you know, getting the extra boost from my Slayer Helm. And then I feel like it'd just be worth it in general, but I feel like it's going to happen. Everybody's getting it but me, but maybe one day. So one quick last thing before I end the video, totally off topic. I have been talking with a lot of my friends, and I'm thinking about going to RuneFest this year, but not through IRL money, but through bonds. You can actually pay with it through bonds. 
Now, I'm thinking of going with like Framed, Kevin, and then a couple of my other friends, Jerry and Owen. And I'm, like I said, I want to do it through Bonds. Now, I'm not sure if I should make like a series out of it, but at the end of the day, I'm, I'm not sure if you guys would, you know, want me to take Bond donations for RuneFest. And I want your guys' opinions on that before I start maybe accepting, accepting them. Would you guys mind if I accept Bond donations so I can get to RuneFest? And uh, it's, I think total bonds, it ranges from 100 to 300. It really depends on where you're flying out from and stuff like that. So let me know what you guys think. And if, if you guys wouldn't, wouldn't want me to earn it on my own, or if you guys wouldn't mind if I accept the bond donations from, from random people, because I, I want you guys' opinions before all these people are saying, whoa, Soup's accepting bond donations. What a scumbag. But uh, anyways, yeah, thank you all for watching. Sorry to make that a little bit longer than usual. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I said anyways already. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you next time. Have a good one. And peace.